your first alert weather with forecaster Steve Gannon. No snow on the Weather Rock in Island Park. No snow in the Idaho Falls area. No cool down in the Idaho Falls area. No bouncing camera from gusty winds, although wind speeds are up to 14 miles an hour. We have temperatures in the upper 60s at this hour, and that's the rule across most of the upper valley. A little cooler in West Yellowstone. Look at salmon, 70 degrees. 57 in Pinedale, nearly 80 in Twin Falls. That's going to change because of this strong weather disturbance. We're going to move in on that and show you there's snow on the Olympic Peninsula. There's snow in the Cascades. And it's going to be cold enough. There'll likely be some snow in our area as well. Here it comes. Tonight, we'll expect increasingly cloudy skies. And by tomorrow, we're going to have a fairly active weather day. Now, as, not tonight. We're going to put Viper into motion and show you. But look what happens by tomorrow about noontime. Central Mountains pick up showers. The Magic Valley picks up showers. We get scattered showers in the Upper Valley. And then through most of the night, Tuesday, we're dealing with snow showers in and around the neighborhood. Now, things taper off as we get into Wednesday afternoon. We're expecting some showers along the Wind Rivers. But that's about all. And into Thursday, springtime is back, both with sky conditions and with temperatures. We don't expect anything for Friday as well. But we have wind advisories for the Upper Snake River Plain, the Magic Valley, and the Treasure Valley. Once again, a little computer glitch today, but a high wind warning is out from Blackfoot south to Utah and west toward Twin Falls. This is a winter weather advisory for the Idaho Highlands. We expect up to three to five inches of snow there as well. So it's going to be an interesting day weather wise. Not tonight, although we'll see increasingly cloudy skies tonight. And overnight lows in the uh, 30s to low 40s for the most part. Even West Yellowstone's at 39. 42 in Burley tonight. That's the same overnight low we're predicting for American Falls. But 28 in Montpelier and Soda Springs and 26 in Pinedale. Tomorrow, 48's a popular high temperature. Look at them popping up around the area. 47's also popular in southeastern Idaho and western Wyoming. About the only 50's we can find is Preston and then north towards Salmon tomorrow. We're expecting temperatures to be close to 50 degrees. And West Yellowstone and Idaho Falls will be within a degree of each other as things get a little bit exciting weather-wise. Now, the long-range outlook, the good news is it's here one day and gone the next. That is the storm system. We're expecting windy conditions through Wednesday and cool temperatures through Wednesday, but not much shower activity after Wednesday. For Blackfoot, look at the warm-up as we go from Thursday to Friday to Saturday. Then another storm blows in, a small one, cooling temperatures on Sunday and Monday. But, oh, tomorrow, we had close to 70 degrees today. We'll be in the upper 40s in the upper valley both tomorrow and Wednesday. But the best chance of showers will be on Tuesday. And then again, another weather disturbance sneaks through the region by Saturday and Sunday. That'll cool things down from the mid-60s on Saturday into the upper 50s on Sunday with a bit of a breeze for the weekend as well. Yeah, I know, wind in East Idaho, what a shock, right? In the Central Mountains, we're expecting a very cloudy, showery day tomorrow and Wednesday. Then a break Thursday and Friday, another round of showers Saturday, and then the first part of next week. And in our high country, we've got overnight lows down to near 20 degrees. Look at the high on Wednesday, 39 in Jackson, Burr. but near 60 for Tuesday with a, or Saturday with a chance of showers. So that roller coaster of springtime in Idaho. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. So kind of batting down the hatches for tomorrow. Sounds like it. Okay, thanks, Thank Steve. you.